okay, we have a beast here. Asus ROG G513RM with Ryzen 7 6800H and RTX 3060. The beast of a laptop. Let's review. Actually, this laptop is a newer model for my laptop. I have G513QM and this is G513RM2022 with Ryzen 7 6800H and my laptop is Ryzen 9 5900HX. This is a really good laptop. It has a lot of performance. It can do a lot of things for you and this will just amaze you and this will just blow your mind with how incredibly fast it is. Let's start with body. This laptop has a plastic and aluminum body. The lid is made out of aluminum alloy and the rest of the laptop made out of plastic. The keyboard is fine, works good. It has four zone RGB and it looks okay, but I prefer paper RGB. Uh, there is a nice glass trackpad and there is a light bar underneath the laptop. Also, there is five dedicated keys for volume control, mute button, uh, fan control and armor crate software which is really nice and I love these five dedicated keys on the top because if you want to hear footsteps in the game you need this dedicated volume button or if you are playing with your games for discord you also need this mute button here uh, I, I just love this this works really fine for me and I love this feature unfortunately there is not a lot of ports here uh, there is two USB Type A 3.2 Gen 1 ports on the left, uh, two USB Type C on the back, which is which one of them is USB 4 with 40 gigabit per second speed, HDMI 2.1 and one uh, 2.5 gigabit per second Ethernet and one AC port for your power. This laptop has a 240 watt power brick and it's. I think the best charger for a uh, Ryzen 7 RTX 3060 laptop. Uh, it can handle anything for you. Also, this laptop has a 90 watt hour battery, which is nice, and you can get almost uh, eight hour or nine hours of battery life with this laptop. I don't use my charger frequently when I go outside and work on a coffee shop or somewhere else. I don't usually use my power brick because my laptop battery is fine and it works just like a MacBook. How should I say? Display here is one of the best displays for gaming laptops, but if you are a creator, you may prefer the 2K 165Hz display, uh, just like me. Uh, this is 1080p 300Hz refresh rate. This is good, uh, it has 3 millisecond response time and uh, the brightness is good. It has almost 350 nits of brightness, 100% sRGB and 79% Adobe RGB, which is good. You can edit your wood photos and videos on this laptop with no problem. It's good for creators, but the main audience for this laptop is gamers. And let's talk about performance. This laptop, again, has Ryzen 7 6800H, RTX 3060 at 140 watts TDP and 16 gigabyte of DDR5 memory with 4800 MHz clock speed. This laptop has a Wi-Fi 6E which is nice but it's MediaTek and you can upgrade your Wi-Fi card to some other brands like Intel to better uh, for a better connectivity and better speed and also lower latency but this MediaTek chip is fine. Also, this laptop has a mark switch, so if you want to play just games, you can disable mark switch and use the NVIDIA graphics for all of your things. But if you disable mark switch and use your NVIDIA graphics for all the things, uh, you should sacrifice your battery life. It goes from eight and nine hours to half an hour, really. It kills your battery in 30 minutes, really. Just use AMD and I think it's fine. Uh, I didn't find any difference between mark switch on and off and it works perfectly fine. I played uh, Valorant and Apex Legends on this laptop. 
I had one of my best results here. Uh, I had almost 250 to 300 frames per second on Valorant, which is nice. And I had uh, almost uh, 160 to 200 FPS on Apex Legends on very high graphic. I think it's one of the best laptops for Apex Legends, really. I had fun playing Apex Legends on this laptop and it really shows how uh, this laptop can handle AAA titles and eSports game. I really enjoyed playing these games on this laptop. And uh, I have some interesting benchmarks in the creative applications. I got the same results as Ryzen 9 5900HX in Geekbench and Cinebench and also Valorant. But in creative workload like Premiere, I had better performance compared to last year. I think it's because of DDR5. AMD is too much relied on RAM and uh, here we go with DDR5 RAM and we can see here the best performance ever on AMD Ryzen laptops because this laptop has DDR5, one of the best DDR5 RAMs here. And also we have the same results as Intel 12700 8 CPUs with 14 cores. This laptop has only 8 cores and this laptop can beat 14 core Intel laptop. And also, because this is AMD, you can get this laptop if you find it. You can get this laptop at lower price than Intel models. Because this laptop has an Intel model and it's called G533ZM and it cost uh, I think 300 or 400 dollar more but this one with the same performance has a better battery life and almost the same specs and build quality I think it's one of the best laptops to buy right now uh, because of the battery life because of the performance if you have only CPU workloads only CPU work works like playing Valorant or CSGO I think you should go for Intel model but if you are a creator, if you are a creative person, you work with Photoshop, you work with Premiere, I think you may not see as much difference between Intel and AMD. And because AMD is better at lower wattage, this may be the better laptop for you if you want to go out and use your laptop in all the places like a real laptop, not a desktop on your desk. Also, this laptop don't have a webcam, but the speaker is fine and good. Uh, they are good speakers but not as MacBooks and or Dell XPS. They are really the industry standard speakers. But these are fine and you can enjoy listening to your music with these speakers or watching your movie with these speakers. I think this is a good laptop. You should buy it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up under this video. And if you didn't subscribe to our channel, please subscribe. So we can make more videos and we can make better videos for you. If you have any opinion, please comment this below under the like button and see you guys around. Bye.